Hey guys, it's Mattman, and welcome back today to another Minecraft video. So today, I'm going to be talking about a few of the cool things that you can do by getting command blocks. Uh, there's a few really cool commands that we're going to go through, and if you want to do them for yourself, I'll uh, I'll put them all in the description because some of them are uh, really really complicated. So to start off, how do you get command blocks? So what you do is you want to do slash give. And then obviously your username, in this case it's me. And then you can do Minecraft colon command underscore block. Or alternatively, you can just do command block, command underscore block. And it'll give you a command block. So once you've got the command block, you just have to open it and put the commands in. Um, so if you want player heads, then you can open this and get any player heads. Um, for this example, uh, I'm going to get Vic or vicstar 123s head so you do slash give then your name then minecraft colon skull one space three and then this weird bracket then skull owner then the weird colon and then a speech mark vicstar 123 speech mark and then the weird bracket again obviously i won't be going through every command because they are really complicated but if we press the button we get Vic's head and obviously there's Vic's head let's change it up a bit let's let's get whose head should we get let's do woof let's boom press the button we get Rob's head anyway moving on guys to this next command which is the skeleton horse this is a pretty simple one summon entity horse three of these weird things that are on the right hand side of your keyboard um, and then you just do tame one type four and we get a skeleton horse which is really really cool now it is tameable if you get a saddle um, although obviously in survival you can't get a command block um, to be able to tame this thing which is a shame but it looks super cool if we can get him out of there oh no he just glitched through but as you can see the skeleton horse he's, he's a little bit see through as the slime jumps around in the background but a super cool thing now moving on to this which is a huge wither boss now before I spawn this in what I'm going to do is move along a couple and spawn in this god sword. Now this gives unbelievable attack damage. Now this again, the command will be in the description if you want to spawn it in yourself. Now we press it and as you can see we get a diamond sword. Look at its attack damage. Post comments down below now what attack damage you think it'll do. Bang. 12,500 attack damage and you can literally one bang anything like anything this huge wither I'm guessing we'll be able to one bang it I'm not gonna lie I've never spawned this huge wither in before um, but this is the this is the command again it'll be in the description so uh, yeah let's uh, let's give it a try what oh my god um, was it gone I'm killing it I need to get rid it? This thing is huge. Is it hittable? Hey, little fella. I can't. I can't hit him. I, I cannot hit him. Anyway. Oh well. Okay. So I'm just gonna difficulty peaceful it. Is he gone? He's gone. Thank God for that. <laughs> He's gone. So that was the the huge wither boss. That was enormous. Um, and then obviously the god sword with. 12,500 attack damage now moving on you can spawn an ender crystal which is you know like the crystals on top of the towers uh, in the end so it's just simply slash summon ender crystal uh, and you press it and it'll come on here so yeah that is how you uh, summon an ender crystal now you can put it to certain coordinates if you put the coordinates in so that's how you get that obviously we know how to get the god sword i am going to keep hold of this to get rid of some of the the later mobs so that in there is sort of my pièce de résistance we won't go into that yet so next we've got a rideable ender dragon now i've never actually tried to ride this this guy but i don't want him blowing all my stuff up so as soon as we uh as soon as we spawn him in, I'm going to try and ride him. And if it doesn't work, I'm just going to kill him with my with my god sword. So let's let's try it. So I'm going to get in fly mode. Let's do it. Come here. Oh, there's a minecart. Oh, I'm in. Am I controlling him? No, I'm not controlling him. I need to kill him. And as you can see, we literally just kill him in one. Um, I didn't want to fly too far away from that area there. But as you can see, 12,500 attack damage. 
we're literally killing him <laughs> kill him in one all that xp oh there's that minecart <laughs> um and the, the end portal there which looks really weird anyway let's get back over to my little area and the next one is uh oh what what you know what, I can't even bother to fix it, you know, I'm just going to leave it as it is. Um, so the next one is a boat rideable Ender Dragon, which I guess is just the same, but with a boat on top of him instead of a minecart. Never really tried it. Um, I don't think we need to ride him again, so as soon as we spawn him in, I reckon I'll just uh, try and kill him. So let's try it. Let's do it. Yeah, it's exactly the, exactly the same thing, but no, it's going to blow my stuff up, don't do it. Oh, and uh, the portal is literally right there pop a button back on there we've got an egg that we've got two eggs sick wait where did we get two from I don't, I don't know anyway moving on to the ultimate mob stack now you'll see what I mean when I spawn this in so this literally just is a stack of of mobs on top of each other it's really cool now this god sword is going to come in really handy when we talk about this because just look they're all going mental at each other oh god this is just let, let's let's just kill them kill them all this is insane a, a stack of every mob i think it is just just die just please die oh slime left chicken left and a poison spider left literally a stack of every single mob which is pretty sick anyway that was the mob stack moving on to something which i've got to say it is really really fucked up this now this is really stupid i spawned this in before i just wanted to see what it was look like i thought it'd be a little rabbit but no just just wait till you see this this is absolutely retarded no no don't don't die <laughs> okie dokie right time set night <laughs> what is that? <laughs> look at it. Oh my god, it's supposed to be a rabbit. It actually does look like a rabbit. I thought it was going to be a little rabbit. It's like a little skeleton rabbit, but what the heck? He can go roam free, but look, what the fuck is that? <laughs> super, super stupid, but it's cool nonetheless. Anyway, let's jump back into my final one, which is the world's end. Now, before we go, right out to the world's end and, and basically see the world border i'm gonna head over to this far side i'll just set it to day just head over to this far side just spawn in this which hasn't got its sign on anymore so you can't see what it is so i guess it's gonna be a little bit of a surprise okay so i just covered the ender portal up so it doesn't go in there but let's try this now this sword might come in a bit handy for this we'll see okay let's try this oh my god it's like a slime tornado what the hell is this this is absolutely sick now this is where this sword comes into play because these big slimes would literally like one hit you but oh my god this is gonna be so annoying to kill oh my god so i'm gonna kill these guys and i'll be back so I'm back guys after killing that enormous slime tornado. Um, so if you do need slime, just just spawn them in, you know? Spawn one of these guys in, spawn a god sword in, easy game. Anyway, moving on to the final one, the world's end. Now, I haven't tra tried this out yet. I'm, I'm sort of hoping that there'll be some sort of border, not just uh, the abyss. And I'm not entirely sure whether the chunks will load. Um, so, so we'll see, won't we? So... Let's try it. Let's get rid of all this. Let's try it. The world's end. You know what? Let's go! Oh, well. Ah, that's a problem. That's a problem. You might want to put your username in there. My bad. That was so anticlimactic. Anyway, let's do it! Oh my god. The world border. We are outside the world border. What is this? There's no chunks loaded. I guarantee my computer will break. Can we even get inside the world border? Because we're clearly outside it. Let's go in. I'm in. Now can I get back out? No, I can't get back out the world border. Let's see our coordinates. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at our coordinates. 29,999,980. This is insane. My chunks will not be able to look. Oh, they d I'm surprised. Yes, computer. There's still more world. So it's not the world border. 
Oh my god, this is insane. I'm like, these, my coordinates have never been this high. This is actually sick. So as you can see, we are literally at the world border. My coordinates are absolutely ridiculous. I didn't expect the chunks to load, I'm not going to lie. I 100% thought my computer was just going to die. So instead of trying to get back to my little place there, I'm going to end the video here guys with my little god sword. But before I do finish guys, I just want to say that these are my opinion. These aren't like the only cool commands. These are just my opinion. So if you did enjoy, please leave a comment down below and leave a like rain. That would be absolutely awesome. Share the video around, share the channel around. That would be sick as well. Subscribe if you're new and I'll catch you next time.